Linear algebra is one of the most useful classes that you can take as a physics or engineering major. Anytime a student asks me, what extra math class should I take? I always have linear algebra at the top of my list. It has more applications than you can count. Search engines, optimization problems, data encoding, signal analysis, graphics, facial recognition, data analysis, social networking, quantum computing, machine learning, data science, computer vision, natural language processing. Nearly any problem in physics, engineering, or mathematics either breaks down into a linear algebra problem or is much easier to solve using linear algebra. As a simple example, if you want to rotate an object, each point on that object experiences a change in its position vector governed by a matrix. The matrix multiplies the original position vector to produce a new position vector at the end of the rotation. If you want to rotate an object multiple times along different axes, you just keep multiplying the position vector by each rotation matrix. It's worth noting that linear algebra stands outside of the usual calculus sequence. There are no derivatives or even functions involved. Linear algebra is literally the study of how arrays of numbers called matrices model transformations. In fact, some math educators even think that many students should be taking linear algebra instead of calculus because it's much more useful in some areas. So if you struggle with calculus and functions and all that, you might find that linear algebra is more approachable. In this series, we'll explore some of the principles of linear algebra, show how the NumPy library implements linear algebra in Python, and implement applications of linear algebra to physics problems. Thank you.